Hello and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strath. I'm Binker B and this will be game three in this Vintage Masters Swiss Strath. <coughs> we managed to defeat Red Black Aggro last game and that was pretty sweet and we won the die roll. Still no Soul Ring but I'm gonna keep. We got a one drop <coughs> into hopefully a two drop and a three drop. We will see. Bodyguard is not the best creature to put uh, Imperial Armor on, I should say. <coughs> so next turn if we don't draw a 2-drop, we will cycle Secluded Step. I prefer to draw a 2-drop. And then a Mountain, if I, ha if I could choose. Another Black deck, huh? Well, that was not a 2-drop. cycle it right now makes it look like mm, that's tough hmm I mean if a human is coming next turn yeah I think I'll play the mountain I really need a double white but it's much more likely that I draw a white source than a red source all right no him blue black so it could be a reanimator Shelter is a decent draw. I'm gonna play Pian, I think. It's the most mana intensive and uh, <coughs> worse Imperial Armor, much better than Chimeric Idol or the Bodyguard. And if we get to untap. I guess we can save it with the bodyguard and with shelter, so... Alright, probably choosing white. Yeah, so he can take whatever he wants. I'm not sure what. Adel is a strange mainboard card. That makes me think that it's Storm. That also makes me think that we need to pick up the pace. I'm not sure what I would take if I were him, but probably the armor. It depends on what he has more in his hand, I guess. Yeah, armor seems like the correct pick. Alright, well I will play the Chimeric Idol this turn because I have the bodyguard to protect. Piano. So next time we can attack for four, seven, nine. That is not enough. <coughs> so we'll get another turn at least. That's not good. Got a cave. Well, it could still be. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I'll just play uh, this and activate Chimeric Idol. So you could be splashing like a Wheel of Fortune. It could be something different than Storm. If that was a reckless charge, things would have been so great. <coughs> Since it doesn't do anything pre combat, I assume it doesn't have a removal spell. Nothing. Alright. So he could have like a choking tethers. Could have a famine. Yeah, storm. All right. Frantic search is not good for me. He 
if he indeed has the Wheel of Fortune, we are probably dead. Yep. Yep. And I assume our <coughs> wheel is coming. Could be prophetic ball too, I guess. Mine's desire for four. That is not guaranteed to work. But I'm pretty jealous. I do enjoy the storm deck. Turnabout, really? Alright. Island and brick. Psychotog. I don't care about Psychotog. So what's the storm count? Four, five, six, seven. <coughs> A ten of this would be for sixteen, which is bad for me. Interesting that it started with turnabout. Yeah, that was not correct. Why didn't he tap his lands first? I guess if he has ten rules now, it doesn't really matter. Six, seven, eight, nine, still only for eighteen. So I'm not dead yet. Yep. Eight. So am I dead? <coughs> Do I have? Yeah, all right. So he could have some. He could have another ten rules, I guess. Or a mind's desire. Guess it shouldn't F six. Screech is a good card. Uh, so you can pump once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times. Uh, I can only attack, I think, with this little tire trooper. Hopefully it doesn't have another ten wheels. All right, that is also bad. <laughs> Stats actually lethal or close to lethal. No attack by Psychotog. Well, I will have to cycle shelter now because they really need to draw land. That was not it. That was not it either. Annoying. Trapper or Emissary? If I do draw land next turn, it doesn't really matter. I guess the trapper. Yeah, so if we draw a land next turn, I will play Battle Screech. I can chomp and trade with the bird. Uh, if I don't draw a land, I can tap down the bird so I don't have to die. Do 
we need to get things moving. I mean, he could have another 10 rails. He's certainly splashing red for something. If not for wheel, it's for something else, like a prophetic bolt. Yeah, and he's digging for it very fast. Could also be splashing like a chain lightning. Oh, deep analysis. That is not good. Paralyze. Sure. I will take one. And now I need to draw land. Land. <coughs> All right. Now we're down to. Oh, I guess I could have sacked the bodyguard to protect it. That could have been better. Mountain. Nope, we are dead. Alright. That was pretty bad. So, Gilded Light's coming in. Renewed Faith is also coming in. I think it's good. Archangel be gone and... What more? Yeah, Shartooth Courier can go too. Yes, we like play first. Still no Soul Ring, and this hand is pretty bad. It has Gilded Light, which is good. But that's about it. I will keep, but it's so bad. And he could easily have a, an Adel and just wreck me. Guess that's good. <sighs> Bird. Yeah. Well, if we can get him to go off without grabbing our gilded light, that's good. Yeah, I should have sacked the bodyguard to the paralyze. Really? Alright. Let's go, Chimeric Idol. The very worst creature in my deck at the moment. Well, I don't think we're dead next turn. Oh, discard idol. I didn't even see that. So he's lacking black mana. Good frantic search right now. Mana prism, right? So how likely is it that he goes off next turn? Three. Four, five, six, some frantic searches. I think it's a decent chance, but we can't do anything. I'm just gonna burn him and attack the next turn. Maybe keep Killer Light up. This draw has been <coughs> pretty bad. Couldn't even find uh, another mountain to cycle Solar Blast, which would have been better. I 
don't think he will go off this turn. I mean, it, he doesn't have to. Just playing uh, d uh, deep analysis, yeah. Seems about right. I would like to draw a 2 or a 3 drop. That would be sweet. Playing the Lonely Sandbar is interesting. Well, how about another land? <coughs> Don't even think I will play it. Much better if I draw a 2 drop <coughs> to play a bigger Imperial Armor, I think. He could also have counter spells and he could have another Adel. Which would be bad for me. Considering how many creatures I have, this is pretty <coughs> annoying, but that's life. So if he doesn't play a land <laughs> this turn after the brainstorm drag, go for it. I assume he will play deep analysis. No swamps though. Alright. Deep. Oh. Psychotog. That's not good for me. It's basically lethal. <coughs> I will animate and shelter. I need to find a creature pretty fast. Another land. <coughs> well, it's a creature. So I guess I can't complain. But I might be dead to Psychotog. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if he has like a frantic search or two, then I'm pretty dead. Interesting. Not a paradise. Yep, that works. <sighs> this is so bad. So if I animate Chimeric Idol. As it say I do it. And I no attack. Alright. Then never mind. I could untap it, but I'm not gonna do it. Let's cycle, shall we? And there was something good? Nope. Right. Yeah, I mean we're running 17 lands, but this is pretty painful. We still don't have a clock, so our only bet is that he somehow Yeah, I don't know goes for it when he doesn't have to and burns himself out. Highly unlikely. What is this? 
Yeah, that's a good card. How is Stellan going to pay? Oh my god, it's a creature. A bit late though. And now the Imperial Armor is pretty bad, since I've played so many lands, but... I probably need to unparalyze my trapper next turn and it, it will cost me 5 mana a turn to do it. So now he can add as much black mana as he wants basically. Maybe we'll go for it this turn. So he has 9 pump in hand, 10, 13, let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, so he needs to have one instant speed draw, uh, it seems very reasonable. I'm gonna gamble. Yeah. I'm gonna block that and hope that he doesn't do anything more this turn. So, what do you discard? Of course, yeah, so I would have been dead. Probably dead anyway. The one creature draw in a thousand turns is not something that beats Storm. It was a risky keep. Alright. And it probably won't go for it this turn. I hope that it won't. Alright, I think I need to pay for that now. Oh, sweet. Um, can I get an attack off? I don't think so. Uh, I will have to... I guess I can Imperial Armor this, so it will be... A 4-4. Four, four. It's not really a winning strategy. I can tap this down and he will attack for 4. And I can attack for 5. Yeah, I guess. And I obviously should have hold my land until next next main phase. But it won't affect the clock. But it's still not good to do it this way. So I tap Psychotog. And he storms off and wins. But I have to tap Psychotog. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It itself is basically lethal. What is my best draw? Reckless charge, probably. Reckless charge would be good. Alright, so he's in the jumping, in the jumping range. Seems legit. Good for me that he discarded both his nightscapes. Probably doesn't have more. Could be going for it now, and that would probably seal the deal. Gush is a pretty good one to start with. Let's 
still no swamps. Don't think it will matter. Nope. All right. I would be very surprised if I'm not dead here. But I guess I have fizzled when I drew 25 cards, but my two last cards was uh, Mars Desire and Tendrils, so. But it's very unlikely. Can I untap my lands? That would be nice. Mine's desire for five, no, frantic search. Well, if he doesn't go off here in some strange, mysterious way, highly unlikely, uh, I might be able to win. But I would say it's almost impossible. Yep, now oh, it's mine's desire time. Or tendrils. Seems like he's having trouble paying for his spell. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of mana. Eight. So I don't think that this will miss, but you never know. Nope, it did not. Alright, we can scoop. Thanks for watching guys, I'll try to win more next time. I do think we got a bit unlucky. Uh, I mean, we never drew our soul ring, we had nothing to do in this match. And so forth. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, I'll bring you probably another Vintage Masters draft pretty soon here. Uh, so, see you then.